hello guys um so today's video is just um based on what happened yesterday it's a very 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 shocking and um surprising situation i found myself in okay um this is exact footage i presented to the police and it helped them to locate the slum and the boy was arrested um, what happened? A little backstory. I and my friend we were driving along Chevron, Nike, and we parked along the road. Um, my friend came down from the car and he went to ease himself. So I was the only one in the car and I needed to buy something from the supermarket across the road and I asked him if, if he had the key to the car. He said yes. Now, I came down from the car and I crossed over to the other side um, to buy something at the supermarket with the mindset that the car was locked. Of course, it was locked, but I didn't realize that the back seat, because I was sitting in front, I didn't realize that the back seat window was open. So I figured this guy who was standing wearing blue, I knew this guy was the only one standing close to um, the car at that time. So I came out from the supermarket and my friend came into the car after eating himself. He came into the car and he didn't even notice. So when I came out from the supermarket, I wanted to put the things I bought at the back seat and I discovered that the laptop was missing. So it was very shocking and that moment I had my drone in the car and I realized, okay, you know what? Um, this guy may not be far away from here because he just left here. So what I needed to do was to take the drone as high as possible and look around the camera if I could see someone putting on blue shirt because he was the only one close to the car at the time. So that's what I did and voila, I found him. Uh, we saw him crossing the road. Um, this is like miles away from the street. The street where he was crossing was just far away from where he took the laptop. Uh, so he, we started following him. At first I didn't want to bring the drone um, closer so he wouldn't notice. It was high, uh, I think uh, 200 feet. At some point we lost signal and I was scared that we may lose him. So I was trying to keep track of him. My friend was calling the police because we discovered that the place he was going into may look like, you know, a ghetto and we've not gone there before and we don't even know that place. What if this man may even have something or a gun or something? So we were scared and my friend decided to alert the police and, and they were like, what happened and stuff like that. So we, we narrated the whole situation to them. And they wanted to see the evidence um, to, you know, to get a clue because we said we had a clue where he went to. Um, but we couldn't know that area because we didn't get where he started from before he entered the street. So we didn't know which area was it where he passed to enter the street. But when we were able to show that to the police and the Malam selling, selling things along the road, the Malam directed us that it's... Um, couple of streets away from where we were so the police went there and behold it was a, a you know a slum so they got there and exactly matched the description of the drone shots so I saw him walking into this gate where the buildings the houses there looks like a slum and close to the canal and that was the moment I finally lost signal and I couldn't track because I was like far away from where I was and there could be tall buildings covering the signal so um, I saved the footage and I showed it to the police officer and they used it to trace the location and they found him. I'm so lucky I got my laptop back and it's I don't know what I would do without my laptop. So that is it. Um, that is it for this video. It makes me realize that technology can be so useful in some critical times. 
because one, I wasn't expecting this would happen. But since I had the technology very close by, I decided to use it. I was just so so scared. Like I didn't, I didn't know what to do, what else to do. I I just wanted to keep track of him. So what if I could even find him? So the system would just go like that. So I'm so happy and I'm so lucky I was able to find him. Don't forget to like, share this video, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Curves, standing out.